Okay, now for question number 10 from the Pure Maths 1 mock exam 2019, which I gave my students. This is for the new international A-level um, paper. Here we have a pair of simultaneous equations where we have uh, 2x plus y equals 1, which is a linear one, and x squared minus 4ky plus 5k equals 0, which is non-linear. And they told us that k is a non-zero constant. And we've got to show that x squared plus 8kx plus k is equal to 0. So what we need to do here is we need to, re, we need to basically uh, substitute from one of these equations into the other. So the easiest way to do with this type of question is when you take the linear part and you look for either the x or the y uh, term which doesn't have anything multiplying except for 1. So you don't have to deal with fractions. So for example here I can see I can rearrange that to make y the subject. So you have y equals 1 minus 2x. Okay, it's possible for me to make x a subject as well. Okay, but the problem with that is you'll end up with a fraction. You'll have x equals 1 minus y over 2. Okay, and here we have 1 minus 2 at y is equal to 1 minus 2x. There's no fraction to deal with here. And then what we can do is, and secondly, the reason, another reason why we're going to choose y is because we have to show that x squared plus 8kx plus k equals 0. So we want to have an equation with just the x terms and not the y. So I want to express y in terms of x and then I substitute that, that um, expression in terms of x instead of the y in the second equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this instead of this y. So I have x squared minus 4 times k times y. Now I know y is equal to 1 minus 2x so I can replace that with 1 minus 2x. Okay, um, that's 4k times 1 minus 2x plus 5k plus 5k is equal to 0. So now I have substituted this instead of this y over there. Okay, now I can expand and hopefully um, simplify and it should come out to what we have to show. So let's see what happens. x squared minus 4k times 1 is 4k minus 4k minus times minus is plus 4 times 2x is 8x and you got plus 5k. Be careful not to confuse your k's and your x's here. Then sometimes you can write them um, in a rush and they look the same. So here we've got x squared and you got um, plus, sorry, this is 8kx here. That's 8kx, of course, because you've got minus 4k times minus 2, so it's minus times minus is plus, and minus 4k times 2x is, is plus, you're going to have 8kx. Okay, so about that, silly mistake. Now we've got here basically x squared plus 8kx, and you've got minus 4k plus 5k, which is plus k equals 0. So we can see how we have shown this becomes that and we can now continue on with the next part of the question. Let me make some more space here. Alright, so it says given that x squared plus 8kx plus k is uh, equal to 0 has equal roots. Um, that's x squared here. It's a bit of a 2's got cut off. Okay. Um, find the value of k. Now, how do we do this? Well, basically, we know that this has equal roots. That means um, that there is a root that's repeated. Okay, you get the same answer twice. Okay, so that occurs when the curve touches, this is a quadratic curve here, x squared plus bx plus c, x squared plus something, x plus something. And that will occur when the curve turns on the x-axis and then goes up. This is an equal root, it's a repeated root. So it basically has one root which is the same. Okay, one root which is it's repeated is the same root. So that's the case, okay, when the discriminant is equal to zero. As we know, the discriminant is given by minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. This is the quadratic formula. But this part of it here is called the discriminant because it discriminates about how many solutions is going to be in the equation. So if this is equal to zero, then you'll only have one root because you'll have minus b over 2a because you'll have plus or minus zero. 
Okay, so this is the case that we're looking at. If this is, if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, then you're going to have two roots because you're going to have minus b plus something over 2a and minus b minus something over 2a. That's the case where it cuts through and cuts it in two places. Okay, and then you have the case where this is a negative, where you have something then you can't work out, this will be undefined, the square root of negative numbers is undefined, and that's the case where it turns before it reaches the x-axis and there's no roots. Okay, so we're looking at this case here, where you have one root, so that's when b squared, when b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero, that's where we can, uh, that's what we have to solve. So to take um, this equation, and the a part of it is going to be 1, because it's 1x squared, so a is equal to 1. Okay, so you have a equals 1. Oops. a equals 1, and you've got b equals, well that's the co uh, coefficient of x, which is 8k. 8k. And c equals k. So b squared is going to be 8k all squared, don't forget to square the 8 and the k, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is k, and we know that's equal to 0. So then we have to solve this and find the value of k for which this is true. So 8 squared is 64, so you have 64k squared minus 4k equals 0. Let's take out the common factor, um, which is 4. In fact, let's divide by 4. Um, so we're going to get 16k squared minus k equals 0. Okay, take out the common factor of k, so we're left with 16k minus 1 in the bracket. Okay, so we have two possible solutions to this particular equation. Okay, two possible solutions which are either k is 0 or you got 16k equals minus 1, so 16k is equal to 1. k is equal to 1 over 16. Now, this is not actually acceptable, k equals 0, because it tells us in the beginning of the question where k is a non-zero constant. So you've got to be very careful and read all the words of the question when you're answering, because um, you know we have to just give the solution which is acceptable. And it says here, find the value of k. So if you write two values of k, it will be wrong. Okay, if you read the question carefully, in part it says find the value. If it wanted more than one value, say find the values. Okay, so you can say k can't be equal to zero. Okay, so therefore you can say k is equal to one over 16. This is your solution. Don't just leave it with those two solutions there. We have to make it clear that we're only accepting the one which is not zero. Okay, then it says, for this value of k, find the solution of the simultaneous equations. Okay, now, um, well, one of the things that I saw one, some of my students do in this particular part of the question was they went back to the original equation right here in the, in the top of the page, and they basically substituted k in, in this as 1 over 16, okay, and then they tried to solve it simultaneously which is, um, it will give you the correct solution if you did it properly. However, what you should realize is this, form, this equation that we formed here is the solution to this simultaneous equation. And all we need to do is to substitute instead of k, 1 over 16, and then we can solve, the, once we solve this equation, we'll therefore solve um, this problem. So that's what we need to do. So we take k equals 1 over 16, and we put it into the equation x squared, what was it? x squared plus 8kx plus k plus 8kx plus k equals 0. This is what we have to solve. When we solve um, this for x, we will then solve the equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this onto the other page. Have I already done it? I'm not. No, I don't have enough space to answer this fully. So I'll take what I've done here and put it on the next page. Um, and then We'll continue. So, copy, and copy, and copy, and copy all of that. <coughs> and also this part. Yep. That'll cut it from here. And we'll put it on the next page.
Oops, I copied the whole thing. Go pause and continue. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to substitute instead of k, 1 over 16. So we have x squared, x squared plus 8 times 1 over 16 times x plus 1 over 16 equals 0. So you have x squared plus this will give me 1 over 2x plus 1 over 16 equals 0. So we want to solve this equation. In order to solve this equation, let me get rid of the denominator, uh, the fraction. So let's multiply. Let's multiply everything by 16. So you have 16x squared plus, that's going to be 16 times a half is 8, x plus 1 equals 0. So let's see if this factorizes first. And if it doesn't, then we can just use the formula. So we've got to have 16x squared and plus 1. Two numbers multiply to give you um, 16 and they add to give you 8. Well, that's 4. So you've got 4x and 4x. In fact, I can see this is a perfect square, both plus 4x. So you can see that the common factor here is 4x and the common factor here is 4x. 4x times 1 and 4x times 1, yeah. So this is actually a perfect square. So you have 4x plus 1 times 4x plus 1. It makes sense that it's going to be a perfect square, actually, because it has one solution. So we end up with 4x, so x is equal to minus a quarter. Okay, x is equal to minus a quarter, and that's the answer for this question. Okay, that's the answer for this question. And we're done. Okay, for this value, okay, find the solution. Ah, no, we haven't done. That's um, x equals minus a quarter. All right, and so therefore, we've got to find what y is, remember? Don't think we're done until we found when we're solving a simultaneous equation we need to find both the x and y values so now let's go back to the original question and find out what we wrote down y is equal to what was it was it 1 minus 2x y is equal to 1 minus 2x yes well the original question has got gone anyway y is equal to 1 minus 2x so y is equal to 1 minus 2x okay so that means y is equal to 1 minus 2 times minus a quarter, which is equal to 1 plus a half, which is 3 over 2. Okay, so the solutions are when x equals minus a quarter, uh, y equals 3 over 2, and that is the solution. There's only one pair of solutions here because um, we can, as we see that, you know, for the value of k, that, that means. Find the we have, we 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 use the value of k such that it has equal roots. That means there's going to be one pair of solutions, okay, which is minus a quarter for x and three over two for y. Okay, so that's the end of that question. Thank you for watching.